Dear students, in previous sessions, we discussed in detail about animal physiology, their various systems like digestion and absorption, breathing and respiration, body fluids including circulation. Also, we discussed about nervous system and chemical coordination including endocrine glands. In today's session, we intend to make you familiar with these structures and their placement in the human body that is in your own body. In digestion and absorption as we have studied and discussed that there is mouth, esophagus, stomach, different parts of stomach like cardiac and pyloric, then duodenum, a small intestine, large intestine, rectum including anal canal and then the anus. We also discussed about glands associated with elementary canal like pancreas and also liver. It is very important for us children to know their real placement in relation to each other also. We have also discussed breathing and respiration which involves the nostrils, the air passages, then the trachea dividing into two, then there are two lungs with finer divisions called alveoli. It is interesting to note their placement in the thoracic cavity in relation to heart in the center and also the diaphragm and its utility and how expiration and inspiration will take place and how breathing movement will go on. That is what we will see in this particular model. Let us now walk up to the model and see the placement of various respiratory organs in our body. Children, we are near model which will help you in understanding various part of respiratory system which begins with nose, nostrils and then you can see trachea. Trachea has cartilaginous rings and those rings you can see here. And onto the trachea, you can see thyroid gland because thyroid is placed onto the trachea. You can also see Adam's apple here. Coming to trachea, trachea goes forward, divides into two branches. Each branch will go to one of the lungs. So, two branches will go to two lungs. Lung placement is like this, which you can see. This is the thoracic cavity. In that you have two lungs and one heart. Heart is slightly overlapped with lungs. If I remove one lung, you can have a good look of heart position. You can see how heart is placed on that side and also now after removing second lung, I will show you the apex of heart. This is the apex of heart which is placed behind this lung and this is the left lung. As is shown here, there are many divisions leading to alveoli and alveoli is the final division which will allow gas exchange between blood and the air spaces in the lung. This lung function is possible because of airtight thoracic cavity which is having lung of a particular size. If this thoracic cavity increases in size then lung size will automatically increase and air will come in which you call inspiration and when thoracic cavity decreases in size automatically lung has to decrease in size to keep the proportion and hence air will go out and that is called expiration. That means thoracic cavity has a big role to play and that is also possible because of presence of diaphragm which allows increase and decrease in the size of thoracic cavity and also some muscles. So, this is the respiratory system which you have seen in this particular model. 